those magnificent men in their flying machines. They go up to the upper, they go down to the upper. Hiya. Right, as you can see, I look a bit different. Hmm. Anyway, right, so part three of the fuselage. Uh, as you can see, my eyes are all wet, 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 running. Because I actually am allergic to epoxy resin, apparently. So the doctor says. Anyway, so if we go on to this, as I can see. <laughs> right, so obviously I've done whatever. So we'll take that off now because that's dry. That's why it's a little bit messy because my eyes are running, so it's hard to do it. Okay. So both sides, I've put your, I've put the um, plates on, and uh, after the debate, thanks for the comments by the way. I don't know who the chap was that was angry about it, but you know I don't know why. But anyway, there you go. So what I've done is I've put the crosses in, but I've put it in the right thickness to the fuse, so it's strong. Okay, so it, I, I, it's just me, and you know, it doesn't really matter in a way. So it's done. Okay, so that's it. Both sides, the other one here. Oh God, this stuff, there's dedication for you, innit? You know, ugh, I hate it. Right, so, so you have both sides like so. So, you know, as you do. Right, so you've got your nice fuse sitting right so. So obviously these are for the uh, strut, the spars at the top for the wings. So they'll be all in line. So, what I'll do is, uh, it's all good. once it's overnight or dry, it's five minute epoxy. You have to, because it's metal. So that I prefer, I have to use it whether I like it or not. And I'll clean it up once it's all solidified and that will be done. Um, okay, so that's basically it. And then the other bit I made, oh God, it's all sticky. Don't like it. Right, so, and this piece here, F4, I believe, can't see my glasses. And that goes there. <coughs> right, and, that, and the, this plan shows you have plywood to strengthen it. And that sits, I believe that sits around about there. So you've got your first former in. You know, this bit like now, as it stands, is like once you put it back onto the plan, that part there, you use that next. We will do that right back to the way of the fuse. So we, you've got that there, and then, oh god, I ain't touching this stuff. And so, as you can see, this is how it's going to go. Firewall. A very old-fashioned way of making stuff this kit but it's nice you know it's nice to do something different so you can see how it's going to form eventually and it even gives you i mean they've gone to the effort here of putting in a so you you glue them in so you've got your little servo tray and you and uh then it's got space for your petrol tank and stuff which i think is quite cool really because most kits nowadays they don't bother with things like that they just expect you to make it yourself i mean this has all been grooved out as you can see so it's really like you know quite top stuff so that's nice to do that so you know like i said before in previous videos this is a definitely a different build so it's nice to um you know have that to look at if that makes sense so that's tomorrow's project will be to uh like get the fuse finished really and like I said in the previous video and chatting to some chap online um, the back end why they've made it so it's like separate is unbelievable but uh, I think it's because on this part of the fuse here it really does curve out to the corner so that has to quite as a considerable bend on the fuse which I suppose is what they, to make it look more realistic to the real plane which is not a bad thing so I'm looking forward to doing this bit extremely to be honest so there you go so here we go there's a bit to explain on this because i've just come across a few things right so as you can see as i used to say it's like an oil rig if you stand it up that way in it so basically it's, that's how it is it's just how it is on the plan more or less so we've got the cross bracings in and everything else and that so it's there and this is the famous tail bit which I'm talking about. See it's only held there and there so when we put the covering up to there it should strengthen it better than that. So that's mainly it uh, for now because what I've come to my attention with all the other plants on this particular model uh, it relies upon the rigging. So it's, you drill a hole here and you put a bit of dowling from the wing and it sets in. The wings are separate on the bottom and they slip in and that and so the rigging holds it. So. Preferably, I was thinking about it and thought, well, it could do it that way. Then I was thinking, well, if you pan the camera up to the pup there, I was thinking of making it 
that way so that I'll be like so we'll come back down so you got that there so what we'll do is um, we've got a template here this is what it's got to go on eventually this so this goes in and this is uh, sanded and carved to shape so you've got your template for the rib so what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to now make a start on the bottom wing and I'm going to build a piece in the middle off the plan the women have plan which just shows you two halves of the wing so what I'll do I'll just measure take the measurements get a template cut there and cut this piece out so that it all just slots in like the modern planes do you know and then bolt it in easier to transport in a car rather than rigging as well because the rigging I'm going to put on won't be well, the size of this is one six scale so the way I see it is the rigging will just be as a show piece like it is on the other models rather than uh you know for real if it was a quarter scale then obviously the rigging would have to count for real if that makes sense so the fuse I'll leave for now after that this that's the one to do the funny thing is it might make people laugh is that I was racking my brains this piece here thinking why have I got this piece along with this piece because they're identical and I'm racking my brains thinking why have they put that in the kit of that and I'm playing with it looking on the plan thinking I can't see it on the plan nothing and then it turns out that this isn't part of the kit at all it's for the pan up there you'll see another piece it was a piece I cut out for an old sock with pup and uh, it must have fallen off the shelf at some point and it's landed on the rest of the plan wood so yeah I spent a good half an hour looking at this thinking what the hell in the hell on earth is this about and that <laughs> and it turned out it was for the pup and not for uh, this <laughs> actually it's actually for the SE5A not the pup uh, so I was like that, I was like, oh. So anyway, so that's nevertheless. So basically, the remaining part of the fuse now uh, is going to be, so that obviously sits on the front, you know? So you got it roughly there. Oh, they're all tight, they're all tight in when it's there. They all look quite nice when it's all put in glued. Okay, so you got that in. And then you put your, your bolster down the sides there up to that point and sand and shape it all and it'll look like it's there okay well, that's basically it really so the next stage the next stage will be mm, the next stage will be the bottom wing so we'll make a start on that and then uh, we should take it from there okay oh yeah and the other bit I put in on the fuse here you know this is this is not on the plan this is the footwell for the pilot to get his foot in to get up into the cockpit so that's on the picture, so I thought, well, I usually put that in and come for it. Yeah, if you pan up to this one, you can see that's what I've done there on that. And that's what they were made, that's what they were like. So, you know, it's just add a bit more realism to the plane, and that'll do. So, anyway, that's that, I think. I think there's nothing more to say. So, tomorrow, I'll make a start on the wing, the bottom wing, and see how we get on. Okay, cheerio, bye! Those magnificent men, those